Today we're talking about 10 fragrances that leave an intoxicating trail behind you when you wear them. And these are fragrances for both women, men and unisex. Three, two, one, let's do this. Hi, my name is Monica Tioch and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in that topic, press that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of my latest videos and let's get on with today's video. First up, we've got Allure Homme Sport Extreme and on, for this video especially, I just prepared for it by walking around and really seeing what I smelled. When I smelled in the crowd, I live in a big city, I am able to smell loads of fragrances and this one, again and again, it leaves an intoxicating cloud around you and the scent in the air is so much better than on the skin. It's just intoxicating intoxicatingly i don't know how you say it good it is addictive it's so sexy i have said it many times before and i'll say it again this is so sexy on a guy this is sweet tonka bean and mandarin it's fresh and smooth and creamy but in the air this leaves you like literally people will turn around and be like what is this guy smelling because this is amazing. The House of Chanel has done such a great job on this. So this is Allure Homme Sport au Extreme. Let's just change my hair quickly. Next up, we've got a fragrance, number nine, that is, <laughs> some people might say it's funny that I'm mentioning it, but it's true. It's Pink Sugar by Aqualina, and this is such an annoying fragrance but men love it men are obsessed with it so many guys just love it and this is straight up sugar and i think licorice i do detest licorice and this has got in it i think and this is extremely sweet but so strong i was in a grocery shop today and a girl a teenage girl was wearing this and it was so busy it was literally everybody like literally next to each other and nobody could move there was just queue to get um like in an aisle to actually go somewhere because everybody was just standing there trying to move and she smelled so strong and if you love that sort of sweetness if you want um guys to be just like <gasps> what is she wearing this scent is addictive where aqualina pink sugar a cotton sweet cotton candy scent so cheap but so strong number eight on my list i'll have to give it to office for men because this is so strong that it will kill flies <laughs> No, but seriously, this is so strong. This is uh, a scent that is along the lines of like Creed Aventus, Mont Blanc Explorer. This is the alpha male scent. I've got the fresh bergamot, uh, like ambroxan, um, some woodsy sort of notes, ambergris thingy. Um, I don't know it's a, if it's a natural ambergris, but this is so strong and when my husband wears it i'm literally like i know what you're wearing today because this just t turns my head basically it's so strong if you're this is called office but you could wear it to a club and i think you would get loads of tension because it's that strong so number eight office for men number seven is a unisex scent very excellent scent tobacco vanille by tom ford from the Privé line this scent is very strong again leaves an absolutely gorgeous vanilla tobacco scent that smells a bit gingery it smells like christmas if you're wearing this in the winter you will turn people's heads this i think is more of a masculine scent but i do wear it and i think because of the sweetness girls can wear it too it's a very powerful like if you are a strong independent woman wear this this is very very good so number seven tobacco vanille <sighs> number six is black opium by tom ford again and i don't own it because it is a signature scent of my regional manager and 
I don't really want to smell like work when I'm not at work, if you know what I mean. But that said, again, it is powerful. It's unmistakably black, op uh, not black opium, black, black orchid. And you will be smelt for miles. It's intoxicating in a dark way. Not everybody will like it. It's not a pleasing scent to the public, but it's very strong. It's kind of like cocoa um, orchid, very strong i think it's got patchouli in it from my head and uh, it's a very heavy scent to me i love it and it smelled uh, it smells gourmandish to me but um and i really love it on people it's a shame that my manager wears it because it kind of spoils it for me but this is an excellent scent very distinctive like you'll turn heads when you're wearing black opium black orchid sorry i keep saying black opium black orchid by tom ford number five we've got coco mademoiselle and this is the intense version and this is so strong i only spray about three sprays of this because it's so strong most guys <laughs> apart from my husband he, he doesn't really like it but most guys will love this and when they smell it in the air they it will grab their attention because this is so sweet yet fresh from the citrus and it's got the darkness of the patchouli so it's a classy scent but if you're a teenage girl just wear the normal version not the intense version but just the eau de parfum and you will smell so good and youthful but in a classy way and people will be like oh my gosh it smells so clean and sweet and elegant it is so good. It's a very, very good scent and I do recommend it to a lot of people if they ask me what kind of Chanel scent to get. So, number five, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Eau de Parfum Intense. Number four, we've got Carnal Flower by Frederick Mull. I have tested this fragrance. I got myself a sample and I just couldn't breathe. <laughs> I couldn't breathe when I wore it. I It does leave an intoxicating scent. It is a very carnal sort of scent. It's very sensual, sexy. Jasmine, it's got jasmine and it's supposed to smell like coconut. To me, it does not smell like coconut. It smells like white flowers, very, very extremely strong white flowers. Um, and for many people, it's an intoxicating sort of scent. To me, myself, when I wore it, I just, I literally couldn't breathe. So that just goes to show how strong of a fragrance this one is. If you love white flowers, jasmine, coconutty sort of scent, very sensual, get yourself a sample and see if you can take it. I challenge you, can you take it? This is a unisex scent, so strong, number four. Carnal Flower by Frederic Mal. Numero 3 or 3, you've got Baccarat Rouge 540, but not this version, the Eau de Parfum version. This is the extra version. So that version, literally when I go to London, every time I go, I smell it. And I smelled it on a guy last time I was in London and he smelled so good. It was so intoxicating. I was like, who is wearing this fragrance? Who is wearing this fragrance? And I was watching people leave the train trying to see who it was that was wearing it. And it was a guy. So this just goes to show you, this fills a tube like underground. You will smell it in amongst all other fragrances this will stand out this will make you so seem so attractive and just confident this is a very unique distinctive scent profile that you know this is baccarat rouge um, and it's a sweet kind of burnt sugar sort of scent but with this jasmine note and woodsy notes and saffron it's very um, addictive, very different and so, so strong. This will turn heads on the street everywhere. With this one, you won't smell it yourself, but other people will smell you so strongly. So be careful with that one. Number three, Baccarat Rouge. 
but the Eau de Parfum version or Ariana uh, Grande's The Cloud that is also the strong and it's a dupe. Number two, we're getting closer, is YSL Y Eau de Parfum. It's a beast like no other. I sprayed it on the card and went back to work and literally it was one end of the room and it literally was so strong that me and my colleague couldn't work. It just projects like crazy. It's a very strong scent but very good. I love it. It's a very refreshing gingery sort of green apple scent with some bergamot and tonka bean. It's very refreshing and very um, masculine smelling. I really really enjoy it but wear it for those occasions where you want to leave a trail, I mean like a huge trail after you because it's so incredibly strong um, but in a good way. This is like, this is top top. Like try it and let me know what you think because uh, it's becoming, yeah, one of my favorites for like guys at the moment. I really, I really enjoy it at the moment. And numero uno, we've got Dior Homme Parfum. I love this scent so much. This is an iris scent, but this is a formal sort of scent that you would wear in a tuxedo. This makes you feel dressed up, very classy, very uh, ready to conquer the world, ready to go to a ball or to like a gala or something. This smells so sophisticated and it's such a beast. It projects like crazy, leaves an intoxicating, intoxicating scent. This is not, not the most compliment getting fragrance that you can buy because not everybody will like it, but those who will like it, they will love it. They will really, really appreciate the scent. And this is a calming, sophisticated iris scent. This smells high quality. This smells just like a masterpiece. This smells like you've got money, you know what you want and even if people uh, don't like it they will respect it because this is this sort of scent. So number one is the one and only Dior en Parfum and I believe they're discontinuing this so if you want to get yourself a bottle ask for it at a Dior counter. These were top 10 scents that leave the most intoxicating scent tail behind you when you wear them. What are your fragrances that do that for you or to you? <laughs> and let's read the comment of the day. <laughs> if you didn't know, I do shout out comments uh, from my latest videos. So if you're subscribed and press the notification bell and comment, I will shout out your comment eventually. Today's comment is from Milos Raiz. He says, glad somebody said it. Carolina Herrera, good girl, is for 15 year old girls. Overly sweet drug, spore, <laughs> drug store spray. Oh, this makes me laugh. The bad boy male version is even worse. The worst product of 2019 along with Dolce Gabbana K. Okay. So I do agree that Karina Herrera, good girl, does smell a bit teenagey, like a 15 year old girl, I get that. The other ones, I'm not sure, so sure whether I agree completely, but everybody has their opinion, everybody can think what they want about scent. Scent is the most subjective sense in our body. So remember, if you love something, you can wear it no matter what the marketing team are telling you. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye guys.